So at the start of the Formula Ford 1600 race, some people starting to jump the start. This is going to be some battle. I think, Graham Gold, you call them rock apes. Yes, well, I mentioned rock apes. That was maybe a little bit cruel, but in actual fact, they're all very determined drivers. Well, determined one word. This is, there we are, locking up under braking. You can see the pressure that's on these guys taking to the grass. Round south stand, heading off towards the hairpin. A fantastic sight, but every one of them looking to get to the front of these 12 laps. This is always a tricky one. Everyone locking up, and the two leaders, Cameron Binney and Andy Sim, taking each other out there and letting the rest of the field overtake them. So, a shock change. Cameron Binney and Andy Sim, second and third on the grid, respectively, now out of contention. In the lead, Harvey Galanders, 86. Yeah, that was a pity of that. It was that at the start with uh, Cameron Binney and Andy Sim. Binney got through at Caravan Corner, and then the Sim got through at the kink on the main straight. The great pity, two of the leaders out. Well, uh, Harvey Galanders had pole position, and uh, he'd lost that, so uh, he's obviously quite happy that he, he's back in the contention once again. Yes, Harvey Galanders there in, in the lead, and the man behind him is Colin Burbeck, who comes from Carlisle, and strange enough, the man behind that is Derek Butcher, who runs the Knock Hill circuit up here in Scotland. Well, that's right, so he's uh, doing a bit of winning here at Ingleston. Well, once again, in the lead, Harvey Galanders, 86, Colin Burbeck, second, 91, and Derek Butcher, number 46, in third place. And certainly, Harvey Galanders looks like he's got a commanding lead here. Um, in this formula, which again is a control formula, you can sort of, um, shall we say, dominate the field once you get at the head of it. Yes, it's, it's really a bit difficult to. It is a bit difficult to get past, but there's there is quite a lot of overtaking. A lot of the drivers up here are fairly evenly matched in Scotland, and this year in particular, it's been a very very open championship. Well, we've just seen that. We've just had some. Uh, histrionics from the, the early leaders, but uh, everybody seems to have settled down a little bit now with Harvey Galanders leading from Colin Burbeck around South Stand, and Derek Butcher taking up third place. Ewan Buchan is in fourth place. Uh, Ewan Buchan locking, uh, Derek Butcher locking up there under braking rather, which he's a bit untidy, a bit scrappy, around the hairpin as they head for the left-hander. So there we are, um, there we have uh, one of the back markers, we've uh, got Roy Lowe has uh, taken himself off at the hairpin there in a big way, an ex-stock car driver driving a bit messily. We'll have a look at that once again to see exactly what happened there. Uh, he's all right, he seems to be all right, he's got out, so uh, Roy Lowe, probably an unhappy man with a big bill now, but uh, anyway. So there's uh, the leader at the moment, Harvey Galanders, 86. He's certainly pulled out a big, big lead, hasn't he? Yes, he's pulled it out now. He's getting well away from Colin Burbeck, and in turn, Burbeck's pulling away from Butcher. Well, uh, Derek Butcher, we saw earlier, driving a little bit untidily, but uh, he'll be happy with the third place, won't he? Oh, yes, I'm sure he will. Yes, he's, he's actually had quite a good season. So, Harvey Galanders, round left-hander, squares it up, gets the line right to go into arena, arrives in front of the crowd and that's a that's a considerable lead now everybody else obviously backing off oh yes i'm sure he's going to be very very pleased with that performance today he comes from aberdeen by the way derek butcher i believe only took up motor racing because he uh, he quite liked the circuit that's right he's an ex-motorcycle racer in fact he used to race motorcycles and uh, came into cars he started racing here at ingleston and then an opportunity came up to buy the Knock Hill circuit, and now he runs the Knock Hill racing circuit. Well, we've uh, got just about a lap to go here at Eagleston. It's been a great day's racing. There uh, have been a few class records set, and uh, it's stayed dry, which is the main thing. Yes, that's very important. In fact, in a day like this, it's slightly cold, uh, which means that the carburetion might be a little bit off in some of the cars, but uh, it's been, the performances have been very good. Well, there's been no doubt about that, a sparkling performance as we come to the end of the season, and certainly some championships have been decided here today. As we come up to the last lap, Harvey Galanders in the Formula Ford 1600 senior race certainly looks to have it sewn up here. He's pulling away from Colin Burbeck all the time. It's a marvellously set-up car, that, isn't it, of Harvey's? Yes, very well set up. Uh, he sets it up himself. His brother also races in the same class, and, in fact, he's further back in the grid in this particular race, Neil Galanders. 
Well, the motoring family showing exactly what they're made of here as uh, he rounds the hairpin for the last time in his Cameron Ironworks sponsored car. Takes left hander. And you can see the marks there. People have had a few accidents before on left hander. So, Harvey Galanders comes up on his 12th and final lap to take the checkered flag. And thank you, Mike and Graham. And there's confirmation of that Formula Ford result. Harvey Galanders and Colin Birkbeck, first and second, both drying Van Diemen's.